Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the fan favourite show with the best comment section on the whole of YouTube. Prove me wrong. Actually, please don't. <laughs> uh, in any case, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, you know the drill. And let's get straight into it. Our selection begins with Amelia's Vexillarius in the 121B medium tank, who's not been having the best of luck so far. With barely any damage to show. While the friendly team is already over 6,000 HP behind, this is going to be one tough game to carry. So it's about time where our hero digs in an OP position and farms the unsuspecting enemy team, right? Or not? Color me surprised! Uh-oh, that looks like a very angry TVP! But Amelia's Vexillarius dispatches it while only taking a single shot of damage. Whoa, that's one heck of a TD to tango with. And now an Object 263. How kind of it to wait its turn. That's three 1v1s in a row, decisively won by Emilia's Vexillarius. With just a 114 and a Leopard PTA that has not been spotted remaining, is there an actual possibility of a win here? Oof! Are you serious? What was that low roll wargaming? What a clutch shot! It's now just the PTA remaining. Uh oh. Something has to be off here. Oh, the PTA is AFK. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> GG. What an exceptional carry by Emilia's Vexillarius, made possible by forcing the enemy tanks into multiple one versus one situations in which our hero excels. All in all, dealing a total of 10,990 damage, scoring seven kills and 1,581 base experience. Which in turn means we award this particular replay with 2,000 gold and our style. Congratulations! Up next, we've got a tank I've been looking forward to for quite a while. It is the mighty Minotaur OTD at the hands of Scatter, who's going all in. Now that's what I call a good opening clip. Almost 2,000 damage dealt and the entire enemy team prevented from advancing any further. So might as well build up on that. Whoa, careful there. We haven't introduced submarines into the game. Yet. And that would be four kills in just three minutes. So let's see how the friendly team is doing. Oh, 
Despite this still being a fantastic position, Scatter is living on borrowed time, as it's just a matter of minutes before the entire enemy team collapses on our hero. So, with a base capture in progress and the final few allies about to fall, it might not be a terrible idea to hurry the heck back! Yep, one could say that Scatter was a little bit late to the party. Although, destroying three tanks in a single clip could be the start of a comeback. Um, uh, awkward? <laughs> I guess thank you for waiting, Mr. STRV. Uh-oh, here comes an FV. Ooh, that, uh, that could have been worse. Wow, Scatter secures two more kills. What an incredible comeback. Just got to dodge those arty shells now. And destroy the chunky clicker to claim the win. GG. We've witnessed an amazing comeback by Scatter, standing alone against seven enemy tanks and still coming up with a win. And in the process, claiming both Kolobanov's and Poole's medals. All that accompanied with 9,660 damage, 11 kills and 1,623 base experience. Truly a masterful game deserving of a masterful reward. Which in this case would be 2,500 gold and our best replay style. Congratulations! For the finale, we're once again bringing out the big guns with Costa Fast Alice in the 60 TP. Who has decided to venture all alone along the AB line. Okay. Costa Fast Alice better be some kind of Polish Rambo, as these solo excursions rarely end well. Alright, not sure why I was in doubt there. After all, this show is called Best Replays. So far, no real enemy tank has actually paid attention to our hero. Something that might change very soon. Hmm, this little 13105 is going to be a hard one to deal with. Oh, wow, what a snap! Great awareness by Costa Fast Alice to turn a dangerous 1v2 into a straight up brawl. the garage it is now just this MVY and two artillery pieces standing between our hero and a color balance medal Huh. 
Huh. Where has that MBY gone? The cap? Really? A three tank capture attempt. How desperate is this purple trio? Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, ignoring the arty to duel the more dangerous MBY. What a play! Give us a replay. That is incredible. The M53 slash 55 splashes itself and then rams Costa Fast Alles by mistake. It's a GG. What an ending. I didn't see that one coming, but in two clutch situations, Costa Fast Alles displayed exceptional focus to prioritize the more dangerous tank. Meaning this game ends in an epic victory with Kolobanos, Pascucci's and Radley Walters medals. On top of that, we've got 8,704 damage, 8 kills and 1,528 base experience. All of which means this replay takes the title of Best of the Week! With Costa Fast Alice claiming 3,000 gold and naturally our best replay style. Congratulations! And on that bombshell, we have reached the end of this week's episode, my dear tankers. With three tier 10 replays, I guess you lot have been enjoying that particular tier lately. But it does not mean we are only looking at high tier replays, no way, Jose. In fact, we'll even send two best replay style to the next tier 6 replay that ends up on the show. How about that for a challenge, eh? So send us the best you've got, and we'll be back next week with more of your awesome replays. Until then, I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!